Hey, this is Mr. Buffington. Merry Christmas. Um, today I'm going to do a quick uh, Christmas proof. Can Santa exist mathematically? Let's go ahead and take a look at this. And we'll see if all of you uh, humbugs like this proof. All right, with the math proof, of course, you have your statement on the left and your reason on the right. So we'll start out with C being the number of children Santa needs to visit. It's about 300 million. Um, just a given approximate number of Christian children in the world. So let's start there. So I'm going to first off take that number, C, and I'm going to subtract all children over 13. Why? Facebook. Have you seen it lately? All right. No more explanation necessary. All right. I'm also going to divide that total number by 3. And the reason I'm doing that is because I, I don't know good kids, kids on the good list versus those naughty little rascals that will be on the naughty list. I don't know. I'm just making up numbers at this point. All right. I'm going to get rid of children under four, subtract that from our C's. Um, kind of like the Facebook. If you've ever been into a preschool biting and fighting and running around and screaming and, <laughs> and we're watching all oh, those little angels. All right. Anyway, I'm going to divide the list by three again because um, we have to account for siblings. And the, what I mean by that is that Santa would probably not, del you know, he'd deliver it all, siblings all at one time, you know, one house, one delivery, um, three siblings-ish per household that has siblings. All right. Um, I'm also going to get rid of all the children over eight. I'm going to have C minus the children over eight. Why? Because children over eight usually, usually don't believe in Santa Claus. Boo on them. I talked to a couple of eight-year-olds and they laughed at me. They laughed. Can you believe that when I asked them if they believed in Santa Claus? All right. I'm going to take C and I'm going to divide it by four again. Um, I'm going to assume that uh, pretty much there's a lot of grandparents spoiling kids. You know, the um, people are living for a longer time, so there's more grandparents to spoil their kids rotten So, and, and their grandkids and even their great-grandkids. So Santa Claus wouldn't really need to deliver. Grandparents are already doing the spoiling. And that leaves us with about 1.8 million children um, across the world that Santa, or 1.8 million deliveries that Santa is still going to have to do. Oh my goodness. So we solved all of that. We still have 1.8 million deliveries that Santa needs to do in one night? Really? That's not a problem. And the reasoning? Because Santa's magic. Hello? Obviously, he can do anything he wants because he's magic. So, here's my mathematical proof. Santa Claus can exist. It all makes sense. So, I hope you have a wonderful and Merry Christmas.